I grew up an only child in Redlands. My parents adopted me when I was just four days old, and I was pretty much their little angel ever since. Kinsey was adopted. That was never a secret. They celebrated her birthday, and they celebrated her gotcha day, which is the day that her parents got her. I didn't get the sense that Kinsey was bothered by being adopted. She had a very close relationship with her parents. My parents taught me to be confident and to seize the day, every day. I was just go, go, go all the time. Kinsey was kind, caring, and fun. She always looked out for the people that didn't fit in. Kinsey always wanted to make a difference, and people looked to her, and she got involved in some very good things. She staged a protest because she didn't want the school to be serving meat in the cafeterias. Like, she was a total animal activist. He is murder. She did a hunger strike at the school. So you could tell, like, she was very ambitious and very well aware kid. That's right. I cared about real life things, not football and prom queens. They need to feel like they are part of a group in order to feel like they can be accepted. In high school, Kinsey started the Rev Flag Club, which was kind of like an offshoot of PFLAG, which is parents and friends of lesbians and gays. I think Rev Flag Club was more of a safe place for people to talk. I think she saw a need for it. Even though I wasn't gay, I knew it was an important issue and something that got a lot of attention in our conservative little town. A lot of the students, they were upset that there was like a gay and lesbian club and they were protesting, but she was like, you know, I don't care. They'd have booths in the middle of the school and she'd hand out pamphlets and everything. 